Hey Aries, this is EJ from Tarot Tarot. I hope everybody had a good Monday. This is your dig deeper reading for the last handful of hours in February and for most of March. It looks like I'm getting to the dig deeper readings towards the end of the month. But this is a nine card spread, recent energy, current energy, future energy, one card for overall energy and three for guidance from the universe. And I got new oracle cards. So we're going to do oracle, one oracle card at the end. And where's my oracle cards? Trust Your Vibes by Sonia Choke. Um, I got these off of Etsy, the oracle cards. They're beautiful. I love them. I'll do one more shuffle, Aries, and we will get started. I got a comment today. On my Taurus and Sagittarius video, um, a young lady was telling me it wasn't. <laughs> She's a Sagittarius. She got dogged out by the Taurus. I'm like, oh, Jesus. But one thing, a couple things I wanted to say. If you are in an abusive relationship, and abuse is not always about somebody hitting you or being psychologically mean sometimes being mean is just about being stingy with resources that that can be abusive um people if you're in a partnership with people your person is not helping you to the point where you you feel like you're almost in a relationship by yourself um and all they're doing is showing up for meal time bedtime and you know to get the keys to the car that's abusive um, and I'm going to say this, there is no reason at this point, and I know this is going to sound ridiculous and somebody's going to get in my inbox and say, what did you say that for? But it's true. There's no reason why any of us should subject ourselves to a bunch of bullshit. Life is short. If you are younger than 50, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. If you are over 50, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Life is very short. And to spend any amount of time, anything over a week with somebody that's being just off the chain, you have to get in yourself and make a decision and a commitment to yourself to walk away. Um, if it's abusive, I, I think I'm going to end up doing a video and I'm just going to post the 800 numbers to uh, domestic abu abuse and victim abuse hotlines so people have access to this stuff because I'm just I'm hearing just too much even in the real time readings that I do here at home. Um y'all don't know. <laughs> y'all don't know. Let me get to your reading Aries. Let me cut these cards up. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Where are we start this is gonna start at three three twelve. All right. So let's get started. A reminder I do my cards straight up. I don't do reversals. So, for recent past, Four of Swords, Ace of Swords, High Priestess, Current Energy, King of Cups, The Lovers, that's also going to be your centerpiece card, and the last of the current, current energy is Eight of Wands, Future Energy, Death card, Seven of Wands, and the Three of Wands. And from underneath the bottom of the deck, Aries, your overall energy is the Sun card. So let's see what we got going on with Aries, babies. So your recent energy. Looks like you took a break, which was probably a good thing, coming into the month of February. Um, out of January, it looks like Aries was kind of kicking back uh, because you guys are dealing with a lot, it looks like, in your relationship. And so you guys just kind of took a moment to rest, retreat, and regroup. Um, from there, it seems like there was some communication, although brief and blunt. It was communication, nonetheless, with the Ace, Ace of Swords. Uh, and I don't know who this is, Aries. I'm inclined to say... It's either an earth sign or an air sign. It could be any sign, but I'm just kind of looking at the layout of the board. There's a lot of you on here, Aries, with the wands. Um, you've got three wand cards up here right now. You've got 
one, two, three, four major arcana cards. So you got big shit going on. With the high priestess over here at the end of the recent energy, it's something about your relationship that's making you short-sighted. It is not allowing you to see, and I've been, I felt, I have dealt with this energy before. There was a point in my life I could pretty much plan out for two years because I could see the things that were coming and not, it didn't really have anything to do with psychic ability or being able to, I could just feel what was coming next. I was in school and I knew once I got finished with, with one degree, I was going to move on to another degree. When I was married, you know, I knew we were going to buy a house. We bought a house. We were going to buy a car. And things kind of went like that for a while until we got into the mid-2000s. And then I couldn't see shit. I could not see to tomorrow. I couldn't figure it out. Life was just all up in the air, relationships, everything. And I could not see. And I went through that for about three years where I literally couldn't, from one month to the next, I couldn't figure out what was going on. And I think sometimes the universe does that to us to stop us in our tracks so we can look at exactly where we are. Um, when I was going through all of this and a couple of other people that I, I know that through their life they've gone through similar things, what I ended up doing actually brought me to this point. I wouldn't have been able to tell you that five or six years ago because <laughs> I was in the middle of the shit. But this high priestess card... I'm telling you all of this so you understand how this feels in your life. So you can kind of put a name on it or at least a feeling to it that you can understand. With the high priestess here, <coughs> excuse me, you haven't been able to see far the crystal ball. All you've been able to see is that damn tree. You can't see the swimming pool. You can't see the house. You don't see the car. You don't see the kids. You can't see nothing. So that's that's that recent past energy that you, you are bringing forth. Your current energy with the King of Cups here, this is about finding comfort and support in your relationship. And if you're looking for it, if you're seeking it, that means you don't have it. Let me Let me step back. To your overall energy being a sun card. This ain't nothing more Aries than you standing up in your damn truth and speaking whatever the hell you have to say, even with the feeling of being short-sighted, like you can't figure out what's gonna happen from one day to the next. You still got to stand up in your truth. Just because you can't see, or because things are chaotic and you you just don't see the direct path out of what you're in currently does not mean you cannot stand up in your truth and that you can't shine the light on things that are going on around you, particularly in your relationship. If your lover is doing something stupid, don't let this energy of frustration, even though this is recent past energy, I know this has a tendency to kind of linger on because you can't, you really, you really can't see what's going on in front of you or what the future might hold because there's so much stuff just up in the air. Stand up in your truth. Shine a light on some shit. If you think um, you need to talk to your partner, then you need to talk to your partner. Don't sit there biting your tongue and don't get all emotional and do the Aries thing and, you know, just start running into the wall because you, you, you can't figure out what's going on. It is really about this. If you need to go back to this again, I'm going to suggest that you retreat, take a step back. Your current energy, your centerpiece card is a lover's card. And this is not about finding true love or some other bullshit like it is in other readings. This is about you being willing to make the sacrifice. Um, and also about your partner being willing to make the sacrifice. It is no mistake that that lover's card is right underneath the communication card. Y'all are going to have to sit down and had a conversation because right now what I sense is that with the, the eight of wands here, it's a lot of fast moving communication. And basically, Aries, it's coming from you. It is not coming from your partner. Again, might be an air sign, might be a, a earth sign, but regardless, you doing all of everything is not going to get it. It's fast communication, text emails, phone calls, all that stuff, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you got. 
you're doing it, but it's almost like you send a text message and it takes you two weeks to get a reply. Stand up in your truth, Aries. Find out what the hell is going on. With the death card in the future energy spot as the first spot, that's telling me that there's going to be some transformation going on in your relationship, whether you like it or not. Again, coming back to the lover's card as a centerpiece, um, it, it's a choice you're going to have to make if you want to continue in this relationship and try to work on it and come to some kind of agreement where you can get together and start moving in the same direction or if you're going to pull apart. It's just that simple. Um, this has got to do a lot between the two of you, whoever your lover is, Aries. This has got a lot to do with your values and what you value. You value one thing, your partner values something else. Um, depending on the element of your partner, if they're air, if it's another fire sign, if it's a water sign, if it's an earth sign, will depend on how you're approaching the situation. You're fire. So you're quick, you know, you, you're quick with your passion, you're quick to get angry, you're quick to get happy, you're quick, because you, you're fire. And you've got that kind of combustible energy in you. Um, but for some reason, it just feels like you're not, not making any kind of gain with your partner. And you want to go forward, but again, you got this, this short-sighted energy kind of lingering on, even though you got the sun card telling you to stand up in your shit and shine. <laughs> you still, I can feel all those emotions, you know, where you can't see forward, you don't know what's going on with your partner, you know, you don't know the real way to communicate, should you just be blunt and throw it out there, or should you have some tact? The bigger issue is making a choice. Do you want to go all in, or do you want to call it quits, or do you, you want to take a break? You have options. That's what you need to know. You have options. Um, you don't have to stay in the same place. You can change your mind about whatever it is. If you at some point said, no, I don't want a commitment. If you think you're ready, again, you need to stand up in your truth and say that. It's transformation. This is not so much what you're thinking, oh, that's the end of the relationship. No, it's about changing the relationship, changing how you frame the relationship, bringing that relationship forth into some transformation when that happens Aries you are going to become the protector you're going to want to defend this is Aries cards fire it's why you're going to want to defend your borders and tell people to back the fuck up once you make this transformation now if the transformation is to keep to if you make a decision a choice to do this not just about being in love and all that happy shit. This is about choices also. You make the choice to stay in the relationship. Transformation is going to have to come. Major cards. So it's not really even up to you, Aries. It's going to come. But if you make a decision to leave it alone, whether permanently or temporarily, the transformation is going to be for you, Aries. So however that's resonating, if you stay in the relationship, the transformation is going to be for the relationship. If you walk away, still, it ain't going nowhere. It's going to be for you. And it's going to be for you to understand how you've matured and how that's going to help you get into the next relationship. If you stay in the relationship, you will see the relationship grow. But it's got to go through that transformation period. It's going to bring you here. And ultimately, it's going to bring you to a point where you and your partner, this is not an energy of cheating or collaborating with somebody on the outside. This is going to bring you to a point if you decide to stay in the relationship of collaboration and trying to work on it together. If you step outside of the relationship and decide that either you, you don't want to do it now, you want to take a break, or if you want to permanently break up, that's still collaborative energy coming towards you. So there'll be another. If you decide to let this one go, there'll be another. And it will be more about you, Aries. Now, if you're happy, don't don't let what I'm saying, don't don't give me the power. You follow your intuition. Hear what I'm telling you. 
go follow your intuition. You know where you are in your relationship. Do you need to let it go? Is it getting ugly? Is it abusive? And I don't mean physically abusive. Is, is the person you're with, are they being shitty? It's too... There's just not enough life to spend with somebody being shitty to you. Let me just put that there. Again, it's about standing up in your damn truth and speaking it regardless of how far you've been seeing or not seeing. You still, you're still a human being. You still got to stand up in your shit for your shit. Because ain't nobody else going to do it for you. Okay? So just know, however, because I can feel some of you, this is not going to... The whole story is not going to resonate with everybody. So eat the fish, leave the bones. Some of you are going to stay, and you're going to try and work on it, and you're going to get back to the crystal ball, try and figure out what the hell from the past. You're going to start back with the communication, you know, because you're going to ask questions. You want to know, we're doing this again. What's new? How are we changing? What's changing? What are you going to do? What do you want me to do? That kind of thing, it's going to be at that, that pace, a quick pace and this is not going to be something that's going to take you forever in a day to figure out if you're going to stay or if you're going to go again with your centerpiece card being a lover's it's about a choice making the choice to fall in love making the choice to stay in love or making the choice to get up and walk the hell away either way let's see what the universe has for guidance for aries for a handful of days left in february and march 2019 let's see what we got Aries, guidance of the universe, we're asking for guidance. Eight of coins, princess of cups, tower card. So Aries, whatever you do, whatever you do, whether you stay in a relationship or get out of it, keep working on you. Whatever you do, you keep working on you. You keep doing the work on the inside. You, Whatever you're feeling, whatever you're being called towards, whatever it is, becoming a plumber, becoming a preacher, a school teacher, a police, whatever, whatever that calling is, keep working at it. Keep working on the inside so you can get to that point. I think also when you get to that point, a lot of the relationship issues you may be having, or especially if they're repeat issues, you keep getting in a relationship and then the communication stops and the other person doesn't want to look at all of that and keep working to perfect it because it's going to pay off. It will pay off. With the Princess of Cups here, her tried and true meaning, putting some emotional distance Aries, y'all are passionate. Ain't no joke. Look at the damn board. <laughs> Just this little hot corner over here. It's red. That's y'all. That's all hot stuff. Put some emotional distance. It, it, whatever you do. Because I don't get a sense this is going to be a decision you're going to take lightly. So whatever you do, whether you stay or go, put some emotional distance between you and it. It being the relationship, the end of it, the beginning of it, the renewal of it, whichever, however that resonates with you. Put some emotional distance on it and start looking at things from a more balanced perspective and not all this fight, higher fight, just <laughs> burning hot. Can't touch the card, it's too hot. That's how y'all are, that's good. Aries is my rising sign, I get it. Why are you trying to work through this? Universe is telling you it's okay to put some emotional distance between you and it so you can get some clarity and some objectivity. With the tower card here, it may be that the foundations of what you believe, Aries, not so much your partner, but maybe what you believe needs to be uprooted and shook up a bit because maybe what you're feeling or what you're thinking about your relationship and the choices you need to make. Maybe you need to change some of that up so you can get a different outcome. And sometimes, um, and, and this is not in the truer sense of the word, a tower moment, this is going to be more to the point of, again, you looking at your choice in this relationship, whichever you make, 
and what your beliefs are and how maybe you need to shake those beliefs up. This is going to be an internal thing. It may turn out to be an internal struggle and it may really mean that you need to go right back here at the beginning of next month or the, the end of next month and just step it back. Step it back so you can take a look at everything that's going on. You may, universe is telling me, you may be missing something. You may be missing a, a key thing and I'm going to go and just kind of jump out here. I know this is not going to resonate with everybody. How's your lover's health? Is he or she sick? Have they been acting different? Have they been sounding different? Are they losing weight? Are they gaining weight? I'm just throwing it's, it's on me, so I have to say it. That may be a reason why you're not getting the type of communication back from your lover. They, just, just, just as an example, it could be something else. It could be something's going on at work. But whatever it is, because right now you're believing one thing about your relationship and there's something else I, I can just tell you there's something else here you guys are in it so you know what i'm saying if it's resonating with you there's something else underneath all of this that's going on that your lover is probably not telling you because either they're scared in the sense of they don't know what kind of outcome it may be it could be they may really be sick it could be they may really be getting ready to get fired or get promoted all those things, good or bad, cause anxiety. And right now, you believe that nothing is wrong with your partner. They're just an idiot and an asshole. Again, you may have to shake up your belief system. I'm just saying, that's, that's a small example. It could be bigger, it could be smaller. But just know that some change has got to come. And you're going to have to get to the bottom of it. You're going to have to shake it up really good so that you can emerge better and stronger for it. Let's see what the Oracle cards have for you, Aries. Oracles, this is for Aries, Oracle, this is for Aries. Good word for Aries. Huh, that's exactly it. Fake it. Till you make it. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> That's exactly that sums it all up. Fake it till you make it. Um, you're going to come out on another side of this. Know that. But also know that things are probably not as grim as you, as you may be thinking they are in your head. Um, with just a little bit of sword energy on the table, it could be a mind thing. You know, fake it till you make it. Whatever decision you decide, fake it till you make it. If you decide to stay, you know, and shit ain't just quite where you want it to be, even though you decided to stay, <laughs> fake it till you make it. It's no sense in getting beating yourself up on anything. Again, you may have to go back. Check out, shake up your belief system. There, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Just because somebody told you 40 years ago when you were four that, you know, the sun always rises behind the moon or something, that doesn't mean you have to believe it. And if you can find factual evidence otherwise, I'm just saying, shake up your belief system because this is a block for you having... A full relationship, not any kind of relationship, just a full relationship. Nothing in particular, I mean just a full, where you're open, you don't have any emotional issues or walls built up. I'm just saying. Fake it till you make it. If you just, Especially if you just, uh, it's coming back, if you really decide to stay in a relationship, fake it till you make it. Fake it till y'all get the pieces put back together. Don't just say, okay, I'm staying in a relationship and then just go sit down on the couch. Start making changes until they feel good to you. Start looking at your belief system and digging until you get it all out. Fake it till you make it, baby. Fake it till you make it. Aries, I'm going to leave your reading there. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a good weekend. I will talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.